Good morning. Another day, another moving vlog. I am about to tackle my closet. I'm I'm not looking forward to this. My God, that squeaky toy and Butter's toy is still alive. I'm like, why haven't you killed it yet? Anyway, let me turn you around. I'm embarrassed to show you the state of this upper shelf, but I'm not the only one, right? Because who has time to constantly refold this? And it's it's so high, I have to use a little step ladder. Anyway, I'm hoping to get rid of a lot of these sweatshirts, although I do wear most of them. I just really want a fresh start. So I'm gonna take all of these down and put them on my I didn't bed. didn't think it'd be this hard To go and try to let you down At first for sure we saw forever and the distance But the path of least resistance is the one where I don't see you anymore And yes, I'm sure about my choices I don't need you to take me home And though for sure the bed is warmer by your side Oh please believe me, babe, I've tried You're not the one I thought that you were gonna be I got you singing Ooh, I got the blues I got you singing Ooh, I don't know what to do without you, baby Ooh, you got the blues Next, I have to tackle my hanging stuff. I'm actually pretty good at kind of decluttering as I go with my hanging stuff because, well, one, I only have so many hangers. <laughs> and two, there's only like so much space I can't really like shove in here, but there's definitely, I see some things I can get rid of. Just get up and go, oh, oh, you say the best I've ever had. I won't be bad, you drive me mad. I don't believe you when you say I'm gonna change It's not that you can't break it down yeah. It's just you didn't love me right It will take time to get in line Crawl up the vine, you will be fine But you will have to be All right, this is the big pile I am getting rid of I don't know if you can see how big this pile is It's like super deep Anyway Getting rid of all this stuff, wow, this feels amazing. So much of this stuff is just super old. I never wear it. It doesn't fit, it's too small. Um, it, ignore all that, that's that's like laundry. Um, but all of this is gonna go. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I don't know why I didn't do this while I was just living here. You know, you just get used to what you have and kind of fades into the background, but feels really, really good to go through this stuff. So I've loaded up my car with those two huge bags of clothing to donate to Goodwill. Um, I had a couple of books left, so I'm gonna bring that stuff over. And then um, I'm gonna bring some stuff over to the new house. There's, you know those things that you just don't necessarily wanna put in a box because they would just take up so much room and they're, it's just not that like important. So like this. Like this is all of my random like workout stuff. I have a yoga mat, this foam roller, some perfect push-ups, um, some like massage balls. And I don't wanna necessarily take up, that, that would be like two packing boxes. So I'm just taking stuff like that, like really random, odd size, bulky things over um, to the new house. Today's July 4th, so it's Sunday, and we're actually getting our big plastic bins and um, some other moving boxes on Tuesday. So I feel like if I can clear out some of the stuff that I know I'm not gonna be putting in boxes, like it's just, it's just gonna make me feel, <laughs> feel better about, feel better about everything. So that's what we're doing next. And I'm also, I'm still like working in the garage because I just wanna get it a little bit more organized even though I think I'm pretty much done getting rid of all the stuff that I want to get rid of in the garage. Um, but I feel like if I can organize like all of my bins and stuff, then I'll just have a better idea. Um, so that's the plan for today. I'm actually a little bit ahead of schedule. It's not even noon yet. And what I wanted to do in the garage I've done and like my clothing, I just wanted to go through like the closet that's done. Yeah, and I thought that was gonna take all day. So now I'm like, what should I do in the afternoon? Yeah, maybe just keep working on the garage. Actually, you know what I could do? I do have a few things in the garage that I wanna mail to my friends in New York, um, like a lot of fabric and stuff because they're still you know, knitting and sewing like crazy and just get them all that stuff. Uh, you know, I know it's going to a good home um, and just ship it out to them. I've been slowly shipping stuff out to them. I've been like warming, I think I've vlogged all this stuff already. 
Um, but you know, I've been warming up to the idea of like getting rid of like all of my beloved like yarn and fabric and slowly but surely I've just sent it all over to them because I'm like, what? I I'm not using it, you know? And I would rather them or them find like new loving homes for all of it. Um, and I just know it's like going to a good place. So anyway, um, maybe I'll do that this afternoon because that is very, very tedious, like packing up stuff because then I have to weigh it and measure it and like create shipping labels, which is just a pain in the ass. So um, maybe I'll do that this afternoon. Good morning. Another day, another day of purging and packing. <laughs> so I had gone through uh, most of my closet with you guys and I had like sorted out all of uh, my sweatshirts and sweaters and stuff. So I brought all of the stuff that I was getting rid of, I brought it all to Goodwill. I had all of these huge garbage bags. It felt so good to get rid of it. And I found a box big enough for all of my sweatshirts. I still have to find a box for all of my sweaters, but I figured I would split them up that way. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So this morning we dropped off Butters at school, which I miss her. Every time I drop her off at school, I'm like, I don't know if I want to, I want to keep her home. But um, it's better this way since we're just packing and stuff and she was getting kind of anxious with me going in and out of the garage uh, the other day. So anyway, dropped her off at school and then we went to Black Bear Diner <laughs> for some breakfast. I love, well, first of all, I don't know if you guys know this about me. I love bears, love, love, love bears, especially grizzly bears, brown bears. Um, and there are no black bear diners. Um, I don't think there are any on the East Coast, but there definitely aren't any in the New York City area. So when we moved here, I was like, what is this? What is this black bear diner? And I love it. There are bears everywhere. I mean, their entire theme, like they did not shy away from the whole black bear bear theme. Anyway, love it, uh, went there for breakfast and just got home. So I'm gonna finish packing up this stuff and then what we're doing today is tackling the beauty room, the filming room, the junk drawer of a room. It is so horrifically crowded and packed in there. I've just been like putting stuff off to the side and you know, not thinking about it, you know, thinking, okay, when I move, I'll go through it. Well, that day has arrived. So I'm gonna finish packing up these things, put them in boxes, and then get to the beauty room. I'm so dreading it, you guys. Okay, my sweatshirts and my sweaters are packed. I believe these are the first boxes I've actually taped up. <laughs> yeah, I've just been purging. Okay, enough procrastination. Let's head on over to my filming room. This is currently what my room looks like. I mean, just a wreck. Okay, before we go into my beauty room. Look at what just happened. This is our guest bath. And this whole thing just like buckled and came out of the walls. Isn't that crazy? Well, I guess it's a good thing we're leaving, but you know, we are here for another week or so. We, we need to get this fixed. I'm trying to think of how I want to approach this. Um, I think what I want to do is purge. Obviously purge anything that I don't um, want, can't donate, can't give away or whatever. Um, I just, I just declutter. So I don't think I'm actually going to be getting rid of any makeup or any perfume or anything. <laughs> Backing this up is going to be like 20 boxes. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to start by just kind of going around my room and just sort of throwing away stuff that I don't, I just don't want because this has been um, my design studio when I was a knitwear designer. It's my office um, on top of my makeup storage area in my filming room. So there's a lot of stuff in here other than just makeup. All right, let's get to it. Oh, I need garbage bags. I need a lot of garbage bags. So this drawer started out as like a backup makeup drawer. Oh my God, where's my actual backup stuff here? Oh, so I have, oh my God, this Victoria Beckham. Is this a lip liner? This is a lip gloss. That's 
probably just too old. Um, I have a Victoria Beckham um, like primer when she came out the the collaboration with Estee Lauder. It's the Morning Aura um, illuminating cream, and then I have a Tom Ford bronzer brush um, with natural hair before they turned over to synthetic. I have an extra Smashbox cream cheek brush. Um, I love these brushes. So this drawer started out as backup. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, a Dior, <laughs> Dior Backstage Air Flash, Radiant Smiths. Um, but then it turned into like perfumes. Um, these are the ones that I didn't keep in boxes that had clear bottles. I didn't want them out in the sunlight because I didn't want them to turn. So I stuck them in here. And then I just have like a lot of beautiful makeup bags in here, mostly <laughs> from Lisa Eldridge. And then what else do I have in here? Oh, some like packaging. The Westman Atelier brushes came in these beautiful tubes. I think I just need to get rid of these. I love packaging, but there's just absolutely no point in keeping them. It's not even like I take them out every once in a while and admire them. <laughs> They've just been sitting in this box. And then I have a bunch of Chanel nail polish back there. That's it for this drawer. This drawer up here is just tech stuff. And I just tossed some like really old cables and stuff. I just did that, but there's still plenty of craziness in here. But I always find, <laughs> I always find the cable I need in this crazy drawer. So yeah, I like keeping, keeping all this stuff and like power adapters and stuff and extension cords. Very handy. Oh, I have this um, box where I kept a lot of my craft supplies. So I was really into hand quilting and hand sewing and these, they went out of business, but these needles were the absolute best. So when I realized they were going out of business, I bought a bunch. And then I have my, my safety pin collection here, very important. Um, some machine needles, some straight pins, some thimbles. Um, so I'm gonna keep this, you know, I don't do a lot of hand sewing or hand quilting these days, but I'm gonna hold on to this. And then right up here, these were mats that I used um, to block hand knits. Um, after you like finish knitting them, they're all like crumpled up looking. So you wet them and then you lay them flat and then you pin them down to like the shape that you want with like wires and stuff. I am definitely not gonna be doing this in the near future. So I think I'm gonna donate all of this. I have quite a few of these blocking knots. And then I have these Spanx that Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> sent over. Uh, which is amazing, but they're too, they're too small. I am definitely not a medium. If I was a medium, I don't feel like I would need Spanx, but um, I am gonna donate these. These will go to some good homes. And here's another one. Yeah, I'm gonna donate these. I also feel like I'm just not in a Spanx mood after being in lockdown for so long. I just, I don't even like wearing pants that button. And then I have all of these really cool um, PR, I don't know, PR packaging. Um, this I can keep. It doesn't take up that much room. Yeah, and I'll probably use that. But like things like this, am I really, <laughs> am I really gonna use this? Let me see. What does it look like when I open it up? Um, it has, let's see if I can take this out. Yeah, maybe I will keep this since I can take out the inserts and it's just like a nice big box. Maybe I can put jewelry in here. Okay, yeah, I'll hold on to this one, but I think I'm gonna get rid of these two because these are just boxes, but this one is a little bit more special. Now I'm in this closet and I just collected all of my sewing, knitting. I don't know if you guys can even see, there's like a ton, hundreds of spools of thread down there. Oh, yeah, they're there. I have embroidery floss. I'm gonna be donating all of this stuff. But, oh wait, let me show you what's in here. Even more sewing notions. <laughs> yep, 
donating all I'm not even gonna go through this I'm not even gonna look at it I'm just going to close this lid and just take it gross and just take this to Goodwill so we put like a ticket in with our uh, landlords our management company and they came and they fixed this ma'am I am gonna miss that <laughs> that is my favorite part about renting just put in a ticket and they come and they fix it all right we're gonna make a trip to Goodwill I think I have enough stuff uh, to bring over there and then we're actually going to make a trip to the house drop off some more stuff and then just keep going all right I'm in the guest bedroom closet now where I keep my coats and I totally forgot about this closet so I see some coats that I'm definitely keeping like my Pat McGrath bomber this jean jacket this anorak some newer coats here it's just it's the ones in these bags that i'm gonna be getting rid of okay that was kind of a bust i only got rid of one two oh about three three coats there's only three coats in here i was thinking about getting rid of this coat but it's actually it's still good and it still fits me that's the important thing i was worried that a lot of these coats didn't fit me anymore but they still they still fit me <laughs> so I have a bunch of barber coats that I really have not worn here in Vegas but they are they're still really really good yeah and like that raincoat haven't haven't really worn <laughs> since I moved here but it's still a good coat so I'm gonna hold on to them for a little bit this is new another kind of raincoat yeah that's it that was kind of a bust. So I am utilizing my thermal printer, the one that I use to print out shipping labels, to print out um, box labels. So I'm gonna put these on my boxes so the movers know which room to put them in. Voila, nice and labeled. All right, I took that short break and went into the other room to check out that coat closet, but I came back in here and I cleaned all this out. This was all the sewing stuff that I had. So I just brought that all to um, Goodwill and yeah it was just like sewing and knitting and so I only have like a few sketchbooks left um, these are all empty oh no one is actually it has my spinning stuff so I did keep some of my spinning stuff because I do have a lot of fiber <laughs> I have a lot of spindles so I can make up some yarn I guess if I if I wanted it um, and then I just have some other random stuff in here that is a cover stitch machine and that's it that is it for this closet i'm feeling really good about this closet i am not feeling good <laughs> about this vanity i really wanted to wash all my brushes before i moved i don't i don't know i don't know if i'll have time so i did shower again <laughs> these have been two shower two shower days or days of two showers whatever you know what i'm saying um, because i just get so dusty and grubby and I hate that feeling of, of dustiness. Anyway, I showered again. Um, I put on some normal clothing because I think I'm done for today. I'm pretty tired and I actually have to meet my um, aunt and my cousin at my new place. They want to see it. <laughs> my cousin's in town. My aunt actually just moved here and she's been renovating her house. So anyway, she's like in house mode. Um, so we got to pick up butters. We got to grab dinner, chow down and then meet my aunt and cousin over there. But yeah, today was a productive day. We made two, three, three trips to Goodwill. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really, really good. We're just at U-Haul and we picked up our plastic bins. It was a little bit of a debacle because they didn't have as many as we reserved, you know, which is okay, shit happens. But uh, we had to get some uh, like regular, regular cardboard corrugated boxes. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it doesn't all fit in the car, so we have to go home, drop this off, and then um, come back and pick up the rest of those boxes. So the packing will begin shortly, but this is turning into a much longer, longer morning than I anticipated. The bins are here. Reality is setting in that I really just need to, I really just need to shut up and pack. Right, Butters? Right, baby? Want to say hi to everyone? Say hi to your fans. What? I don't have anything. I have a box. I have a box in my hand. That's it. So we just came home to a delivery from Freshly. I, wow, it, I probably over a year ago I vlogged once 
and I talked about Freshly and how um, we were getting Freshly deliveries and it was great when you just didn't feel like cooking, you just microwave it, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, we stopped doing it for a long time because, I don't know, I think we just kind of got sick of the meals um, and yeah, it just kind of feels like a lot of the same after a while, but we have been eating out so much when we started packing and purging this whole process. And so we kind of started up our subscription again and it's just great because no one wants to cook. No one wants to cook while they're packing and moving. So anyway, we'll be enjoying some Freshly later. Hey baby, mommy's got a surprise for you today. Do you want to go see our new house? You want to go see our new house? We can bring your favorite Bali. Mm -hmm. Bible verse. Are you are you excited? Oh, are you excited? Okay, baby. This is the new garage. <laughs> You're like, what? What is that? Is that a window? I still remember the feeling. I wanna dance till I can't no more. All of this time I've been dreaming Dreaming on the dance floor I still remember the feeling I wanna dance till I can't no more All of this time I've been dreaming Dreaming on the dance floor, dance floor Dance floor. 